Welcome to the video series on Chicory's refit, this time adding a 6 kilowatt generator. We felt it was important to have a 6 kilowatt generator added to the boat so that we would have redundancy with our 12 kilowatt and have something to manage the lighter load days. The concept started with a rough drawing and then welding up just one side to see how it fit in the cockpit and how much room it provided us. Once we saw that side in place, we decided to proceed with the welding up of the entire assembly. Once the welding was complete, I wanted to make sure that everything was mocked up on land before I brought it to the marina to install it in the boat. This included dropping the generator in through the top and then making a foam core mock-up of the enclosure so I could make sure that everything worked, including maintenance when the enclosure was on. Once I was satisfied, it was off to the marina to install the assembly into the cockpit. With the frame in place, we wanted to check a couple things before we bolted it down. That included walking around space to make sure that it's what we envisioned and also getting into the lazarette. We were super static with how the space was around the generator enclosure. So we started the installation, which included drilling holes through the cockpit floor and then over drilling them so that the core would be protected and then filling that with thickened epoxy. Once the epoxy dried, we were able to bolt it down and start on the enclosure. Building the enclosure was more tedious than difficult. I didn't want to waste any of this expensive material, so I went very slowly making sure that every seam fitted exactly the way I want. I then added some finishing touches with rounded corners and a nice backsplash. The backsplash is mechanically fastened, and in addition, I welded it with polyethylene welding rod. With the enclosure complete, I could start on installing the generator. I solved the problem of getting the generator down the dock by strapping it to a rolling dolly. The first step was to glue and fasten a base for the generator to sit inside the frame. Then I used the boom crane again to drop in the generator. After the generator was bolted down, I could install the enclosure. Next was hooking up the hoses for raw water supply and exhaust. For this project, I utilized Parker fuel hose with field attachable JIC fittings, and I'm very pleased with that. This project included adding a new dedicated 240 volt electrical panel, which would allow me to do distribution between the 12 kilowatt, the 6 kilowatt, and shore power. The last step was to wire the generator into the 240 panel and test run. Everything looked fantastic. Thanks for watching. I'm going to close out this video with a slow pan of the finished project.